Hey guys, welcome back to another Blender 2.8 video editing tutorial. We're going to start getting in in the next few videos into some video effects or not effects really, but more so manipulating the video like color balance and things like that. So in this one, we're going to look just at creating, not creating, making your video black and white. Like you're looking at me right now and it's black and white, but that's my webcam, my webcam setting. Uh, but we're going to look at how to take a colored video in Blender 2.8 and turn it into a black and white video. It's very simple, so let's look at that right now. All right, here we are in Blender. I have a video clip loaded up, proxy file set as always, and I want to create uh, a, an, a layer that's going to make this black and white. Now you can go in here and make it black and white with these settings, but <clears throat> what we're going to do is make the entire whatever, however many video clips you put in black and white. So this layer can be dragged across multiple video strips to make the entire movie uh, that you come up with black and white. So to do that, we're gonna add an adjustment layer. So you go to add, uh, add adjustment layer. And now anything we do to this adjustment layer will affect everything that's underneath it. So if I would have this moved up here somewhere, anything underneath here in any of these lines this adjust this adjustment layer would affect so we're going to take this back to the beginning with shift s and then we need to extend this because i want it to cover the entire clip well we'll do we'll do that in a minute first i want to show you how it, it how you can adjust it and make it look uh different so we'll go to the adjustment layer we'll click out here a little bit so it shows the frames better as you, as you can see, this is a colored video. It's of a Superman emblem we made a while back out of a piece of cherry. So to make this black and white is very, very simple. On the right-hand side here, we have our Edit Strip menu. So if we scroll down in this panel, we'll get to a thing, uh, a, an option that says Saturation Multiply. What we want for this effect, the black and white effect, is saturation. So we can just click on this with the left mouse and drag it to the left and that's an instant black and white video so as you see as you drag it through everything's black and white and then we can right when we pass the end of that adjustment layer we're back to color and that's a cool effect that you can do a lot of things with for example you can fade it so it slowly fades from black and white to color or vice versa so if i would drag this in here all we have to do is create keyframes so if i go to the beginning of the adjustment layer clip with page down on the keyboard and just go back up here to the opacity, we can set that to zero. And then hover over the opacity we just changed and hit I on the keyboard. That creates a keyframe for that particular place on the timeline for that strip. Then we can go ahead a little bit and we'll just bump it up, bump it back up to one or just click on it, highlight it, hit one, hit enter. And that turns it back to black and white. And then we have to go hover over that opacity bar again and hit I on the keyboard. And that'll create a time uh, a keyframe. So as we can see, if we play it, and I'm going to get rid of this so it doesn't play the sound. If I play it, you can see it slowly fade to black and white. And we can do the same thing here. We'll do a longer fade. So if we click back here and we go over to the adjustment layer and set that to one so it's already at one we just hover over it, hit I and if we go to the end with page up and drag that down to or just hit zero and hit enter and then hit I we now have it fade so you can see it if we play it through it fades in and fades out from black color to black and white and black and white to color And that's pretty much it. So I hope this was helpful. You can do a lot of cool things with this. And those adjustment layers are extremely helpful when it comes to editing uh, uh, colors and uh, just a lot of different things that we'll get into later. But uh, the adjustment layer is a great tool to be using in Blender, whether it be version 2.8 or the older versions. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you'll stick around for the coming videos in this series, and I hope you'll go back out and check go back and check out some of the ones we've already done. We have quite a few of them now that'll get you started on learning Blender 2.8 for video editing. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.